How's it again? So, um, this is going to be the fourth review for this evening. Um, unfortunately, two of the other reviews that I did, um, the flipping video didn't work. So that kind of sucked. I don't know. I only found it afterwards. I'd eaten the chilies. The one that I had was a um, seven pot chaguanas, seven pot chaguanas yellow. Um, it was almost identical to that of uh, the Sherwood um, Cross Reaper, Sherwood Carbonero Cross Reaper. Flavor was the same. Um, it didn't have so much burn as the, as the Sherwood had, um, but that's just because there was, I don't think there was any Reaper involved. I hadn't tried it before, but then the other one was uh, some Spanish name I can't pronounce. Um, something, something very mild. It looked like a peri-peri, but uh, um, it was very mild. Anyway, so this is a yellow Fatale. Um, it's from the from the medium to hot box. I don't know. It's pretty big. It's quite ripe, so it's got a bit of a stain at the top. I don't know blemish. I don't know what that is. Um, the skin is very thick. Um, now it's a Fatale chili, um, but I spoke with Yuka about it, and he said that it's an old strain. It's not hidden. It's not an original from him, and. Uh, um, He's given me quite a lot of information about his chilies and also about what lights and stuff to use. So that was quite cool. Um, for those of you that uh, don't know about Fatali Seeds, you can check it out on Facebook, um, fataliseeds.net, I think. But anyway, just search Fatali Seeds and you'll find him. And he's got loads of stuff. He's got some cool ideas um, and how to grow. All the information is right there. This is how it looks inside. It's a big, uh, it's a, it is a big chili. And it is pretty ripe. So um, it looks a lot more orange um, in real life than it does, I suppose, because of the light of the, of the, of the phone. It makes it look more yellow. Um, it's a big placenta, quite a lot of seeds. Um, I'll give a good sniff of it now. I'm quite disappointed the other ones because I wanted to do I know you guys are sadists so you just want to see me burn my face anyway that's what it's all about isn't it but no not really these are reviews of cheese so not everything has to be a a, a ring stinger um, actually the other one I took a I, I pulled the hobs so I just shoved the whole thing in my mouth to just to, you know for the fun of it but as I say, anticlimax, absolutely no, it was five Scoville, if that, you know. I think uh, normal snack peppers that you buy in your local supermarket um, firstly had more taste, and yeah, the burn level was the same. So here goes. All right, as I said, it pretty big, um, nice and, ah, oh, they smell a lot stronger than the other ones. I'm still got a snotty nose from the previous one that I had which was it smells very lemon right here we go this is my first time having a Fatali chili It has got a very lemony flavour. Well, citrusy flavour, should I say. <coughs> the heat is there, but it's not so intense. Um, it's got a nice crunchy skin. Oh, nice chili. Very fl fruity flavor. Enjoy. Pull the hobs. Yeah, man. All right, guys. Well, let me just chew on this one for a while and I'll let you know how it feels in a few minutes. Sometimes it takes a bit of time for the heat to come on. So, but that was the Fatalia Yellow. Um, I suppose, oh, 
I hate it when I'm talking, the shit gets stuck in the back oh, and it hatches. Um, it's not like a reaper or a, one of the super hots where the heat is just there straight away. Um, I can feel it in my mouth, it's working its way around. Tongue's burning on the side. Flavor is passed very quickly, but it's left a, a fruity tinge. Um, my mouth is on fire right now, but it's not like uh, it's not like it's a killer. But it is on fire, but it stings more than it burns. So that could be the the yellow in it. Um, the lemony, lemony, citrus sting, because my tongue is stinging all around right now. Um, but otherwise, it's half past ten here at night, Sunday night. For those of you that have to work tomorrow morning, good luck.